you just look at that, whatever it is. Good morning, YouTube, and happy 4th of July. So, today is Tuesday. Uh, today's Tuesday. It's my day off. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't, get, you wouldn't catch that reference. It's an old song thing. So, Devin, if you're watching this, you'll catch that. But, uh, so what's going on, guys? Today, like I said, it's Tuesday. Today, I'm going to be wire tucking my engine bay harness. Uh, AD just texted me. He's getting ready to charge up his AC on his Civic, and then he's going to head over here. And uh, I've already got the day started, so uh, if anybody from Duncan is watching this, please follow me. But nonetheless, that's the only thing that I got going on today. Uh, I'm flat broke, and I leave in a couple days. I'll be out of town, so I won't have any money to put into this Civic. I almost said Civic. I have an Integra. So, uh, yeah, uh, tomorrow when I get paid, I will be dropping off some money to AD to go to the machine shop for me while I'm gone. Get the head resurfaced valve seals put in because I got those super tech valve seals. And uh, my GSR dual springs, get those put in, and then I'll be hopefully stopping by Hasport some point. I don't know. I'll probably have to do it after I get back, so that'll be kind of lame. But I mean, at least then I can take you guys with me, and I won't have to rush trying to get that done before I leave because I work, work, and then have to dip out of work early and get like straight to the airport. So uh, yeah, basically, that's going to be what's happening today. Uh, we might be ripping out the AC stuff from underneath the dash because I don't really plan on using it. Um, it's already, I mean, whatever. I've got the daily, I've got the other integrator. It's got AC, so this thing back here doesn't really need AC and weight reduction, bro. So, nonetheless, uh, sorry for the sniffling, uh, allergies. But yeah, so let's, uh, let's wait for AD to get here, I guess. So, this is what we're looking at so far. Basically, all I've done previously is zip tie everything aside. So, all this is going to be tucked, all this AC wiring is going to be gone. Same with uh, the AC lines in the wall. This is all going to be at least tidied up. This is all going into the fender well or down here, whichever way AD is doing it. Headlights getting tucked. All of it's getting tucked. And it's going to look clean. And then depending on how much of the wiring is still actually in the way after all of it's done, I might try and mask off like the brake lines and the brake booster and then just touch it up with some random spray paint color because I'm not too worried about having like some flashy paint job. I mean, it doesn't look bad as is because I still need to wash it. It's just like right here where it's chipped up and down here where it's all chipped up and there. So it's not horrible, but it could definitely look nicer. So yeah, I might just mask everything off and spray paint it. Just to get things moving a little bit faster for when AD shows up, I'm already starting to take the fenders off. As you can see, I got the front bumper off over there, taking the headlights out so that way basically the whole front end is coming off so that way we can do what we need to do with the wires. But uh, yeah. Alright, so I'm trying to get these fenders off, and I got the last bolt, which is down here, to take off. But, if you just so happen to lock a door, I don't have, I'm just barely short on room to get the bolt out. And that's on both sides, so, I gotta freaking put the wheels back on this thing, get it off the jack stands, roll it up half a foot, so that way I'm still in the shade, and get these wheels off and jack it all up and do this all over again. So, this sucks, it's really hot out, but we're getting it done. Alright, so got the wheels on, got the fenders off, found an AD, he just showed up. So, we already got started on the wires, they're heated, because I have no idea what's going on. Just letting them work. But basically, we got the engine harness out, and we're going to take, or he's going to take that back to the shop, do his thing with it. And in the meantime, we are getting rid of the AC wiring, because I won't be needing it. I'm uh, going to be redoing some of the turn signal wiring, probably have to re-splice my headlight wiring, because it's all janky. And uh, just tucking it. Tucking Tuesdays, man. <laughs> All right, so we've got most of the wiring pulled through the firewall already, and uh, we're trying to get the dash taken out right now, so that we can more clearly do it, do everything, get the AC stuff taken out, since I won't be putting that back in. And uh, yeah, it's messy. Back them back. <laughs> That was by far the most obnoxious thing I've ever done in this car. 
All right, so we got the stupid dash out of the car, which was an ever-loving hell. So now we can get the rest of this crap out, or taken care of, get the wires taken care of, and uh, worry about putting the dash in another day. I don't know, depending on how long this takes. Just definitely wasn't fun, though. Now right, we gotta run to the store, gotta go get a drill bit, gotta go get some zip ties. Have to... I'm gonna pick up a can of white paint just to touch up the bay. It's not gonna be the same color, but I mean, it's better than cut up raw silver here and there. <laughs> and uh, he brought the Accord, so tour around this. Dirty as hell. <laughs> Neglected. Yeah, so, so a few way? parts. I think they're right. Just need a few parts, and uh, then we'll get back to it. Number three. We'll break some shit. That's pretty cool. Dope. Hell yeah, bro. Just gonna find some other time. Hit him. Hit him. Stop number two. All right. You gotta drill this hole so you can f feed the headlight harnesses, headlight harness through, and the fan switches through and the blinkers and everything and you got to separate the engine harness I mean where the engine plugs in you got to separate that and the wire I mean the <laughs> wiper wiper plug and then feed this back through the engine harness have it come out through this hole down here and then the wiper is gonna plug in right there and then we're gonna have the engine harness connectors down here. And that's it for this side. So it's not too complicated, if you know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just basically rearranging wires, putting them in different spots. Yeah. You have to like split the original harness so you can separate the harnesses. And we're doing this without cutting any of the wires, yeah. so. I'm not doing the full detail just because I'm trying to get this, help them get it all done so we can get it done today. You guys are dusty. So I'm sorry if it's not very well explained, but yeah, it's basically what we're doing is we're unraveling the harness and then stuffing it through. Had to drill that hole and then running the rest of it through the firewall and hiding it. So pretty simple. Also, Honda Street Garage has a pretty detailed video on doing this somewhere in I think his late season four, season five. So go check his video out if you really wanna know how to do this. All right, so it's been a little bit, probably like an hour, and I've started to clean up the bay. I just spray painted it to clean up all the bad scuff marks and whatnot. I didn't do the whole thing, because I mean, it's white, so. I mean, it's gonna be a bit shinier over there than on the firewall, but you won't be able to see the, fire, the entire firewall, so it's not that big of a deal. But it does look better, and I still gotta mask it off and paint that black. But uh, that's good, and uh, making progress on the harness. Got it. All right, here. So, how much of that is left? How much is left? Yeah. Well, we still gotta set up the headlights to, fuck, <laughs> to see where everything goes. And the inside is pretty much done. We have to, Still gotta feed these wires through the firewall for the engine and then this for the wiper. Got it all loomed up. We're gonna set the fucking fuse box somewhere right here so it just bolts to the fucking fender or whatever the fuck. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's about it. So there's not a crazy amount left to do. Mostly just tidying up, it sounds like. So we're gonna get back to it. And it's really hot, so if you guys could give this a thumbs up for us busting our balls in the heat, please do so. End up putting a blower motor back in it too? Well, I wanna be able to have heat yeah. if I need it, yeah. just in case. But yeah, so we got this uh, assembly out, and we're just gonna be taking the guts out of it, because that's all for the AC stuff. And like I said, I don't plan on putting AC back in. So one, that's weight reduction, and two, it's gonna clear up some space. Well, I mean, the box is gonna stay. But that's just so I can have the heat. But yeah, it's gonna look better anyway, regardless. And I'm working on throwing a, some clear coat on this right now. So it looks a little bit cleaner. Like I said, I'm not going for a freaking showroom look. 
it just had really roughed up edges everywhere like chipped paint and silver showing so I think this would be nicer so status update I uh, touched up the subframe right there with some black paint but that won't be there forever because eventually there'll be some traction bars or something and uh, as for the harness we're still fitting it up and he is doing some some stuff so I can hide it easier make it more slack to hide it get it well here is the passenger side all nice and tidy and then that's just for the headlight and the fogs which are going to be popping right there uh, I had to readjust my hose to compensate for my strut bar for my power steering line so that's good just have that line to do which is my radiator fan and then gotta drill a hole on the other side and then run that side and then we can uh, pretty much be done right throw the dash in call it a day so, like I said, this side is done, all tucked up and nice. We just unplugged the AC crap because I won't be needing it, and I'm going to be running my radiator fan to a switch like I was before, just for simplicity's sake. And uh, we got to drill out this side because that's how you wire tuck the driver's side. So, uh, yeah, AD will demonstrate his precision and how to do this. Alright, so it's been a couple hours. We got the interior finished up for the wiring, at least tucked away down there. Uh, we got the dash put back in. I just finished up putting all the kick panels and the center console and all the other junk back in and uh, tucking the wires up a little bit higher by the pedals. So everything went in fine except for this little piece right here just because we had to have room for the fuse panel. So, I mean, that's no big deal. But other than that, uh, that side's done. He's finishing up the other side, and I'm just going to be leaving the fenders and the bumper and crap off until we trailer the car to the shop and get the motor actually put in, because why put it all in and have to take it off later anyway? And I don't want to damage the fenders and paint and crap swinging a motor over it, so, but yeah. It's been a long day, right? Too long. I've <laughs> only been out here for like nine hours. Oh, so you guys can see a little bit nicer. Freshen up the subframe, like I said. That looks nicer. Purple canister. Nice and out of the way. Came out good. Alright, so next up on this thing is going to be sending the head off to the machine shop and then redoing the oil pump, right? Yeah, we're doing a GSR oil pump. Uh, just for the heck of it because uh, maybe hopefully get a little bit better oil pressure and the other one I don't know better safe than sorry I guess so doing that but yeah heading to the machine shop for the head and I won't be doing that so AD will be doing that while I'm gone and then when I get back hopefully we can assemble everything and hopefully within the next couple of weeks we can get it in the car so for the next like week and a half uh, I won't be doing my own car stuff You'll be seeing some other cars, or a other car, I don't know, it depends on how many people are there. How many people I meet, see, whatever. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you found it entertaining, useful, whatever, give it a thumbs up, please. If you haven't already, subscribe for more. I do a few videos a week, car stuff, skateboarding, whatever. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I think that's it. Ending it out here. Peace, have a good night, happy 4th of July, farewell.